Hey everyone. So I've been going through all my old videos still and trying to find ones that are super old and worth updating. And I've done a couple or a few already, but I decided that I wanted to do another one. Another extremely old video that I did about six years ago that wasn't filmed very well. Like the camera angle was awful and the lighting was just as bad. But that is the totem pole friendship bracelet, which I think is actually a really nice pattern. So I think it is worth doing again. And I watched that video again as cringeworthy as it was <laughs> and kind of relearned this pattern because I had almost really forgotten that it existed. And I actually really like how it looks. So I went back to that video and watched kind of a little bit of what I was teaching and tried this pattern out again and found out a few things that I thought would be worth mentioning in the new tutorial. So if you guys want to learn again <laughs> how to make the totem pole friendship bracelet then keep on watching. So for this bracelet you're going to need eight strings and four of them will be different colors like right here. And then you will want to double that so that way you have two of each color. And one thing I want to note on this bracelet is you want your strings to actually be pretty long because as you can see this kind of takes up a lot of string. And because I did this test pattern I am able to tell you guys that where the little dots are for the eyes your strings will be substantially longer because you won't use them as much hardly at all compared to the rest of the strings. So you can make all your strings the same length or you can make your little dot pieces a lot shorter than the rest. So what I did here is I just took each strand, made them really long and folded them over and then tied a knot at the end. If you don't want to have a loop like this, then I suggest making your strings just a few inches longer and then cutting the loop right here. So that way you can leave a little extra room for braiding on both sides. So the way you want to place your strings is starting on your left side, you want to figure out where you would like to place your strings. And because I did this, I can tell you that if you want your dot or I guess the eye of the totem pole pattern to be a specific color, you want that to be the third string from the left, as you can see right here. And I personally don't mind what the rest of the colors are, so I'm just going to kind of do this a bit randomly. And now that you have that side, you want to mirror it on the other side. So whatever you have for one, two, three, four, you want to go four, three, two, one with your strings. And then you are ready to begin. So I'd say this pattern is probably beginner to intermediate, just about in between, but I'm going to try and make this as clear and easy to follow as I possibly can so that way anybody can follow along and I really hope I achieve this. <laughs> so we are first going to start off on the left side and if you need to mark where the middle of your strands are, you can, but if you don't need to, just remember, you know, this is the middle. So this is our left side and this is our right. So first what we're going to do is take our outermost left strand and we are going to do forward knots on all three of our strings until we get it to the middle. So if you don't know how to do a forward knot, it's really easy. Just make a four and pull your string through that loop. Tie a knot and then do that one more time. Make a four and pull through that hole. And that is a forward knot completed. Then do it with your next strand. And then the strand after that. And then once you have that, you can kind of keep them off to the side, make sure you have them in their correct order. And then we're going to go toward the right side where we will mirror exactly what we did on the left. So you're going to take your outermost right strand and instead of doing forward knots, you're going to do backward knots on all 
three of your strands until you get to the middle. So a backward knot is pretty easy as well. You are going to make a P shape and pull your string through that loop. Make a knot and then do it one more time to fully complete your backward knot. And then you'll do it for your next two strands. And now that you have that, you want to take your strands that you did the forward and backward knots with to get to the middle, and you want to make a forward knot just to close that gap right up here. And now here's where it can get a little bit confusing, but I'll try and keep this as clear as I can for you guys. So what you're going to do is go back to your left side. And you're going to take your outermost left strand and instead of going to the middle you're just going to do a forward knot on two of your strands so we're going to take our outermost left strand and knot onto the one next to it and then you want to do it to the next one And then you just want to leave that there for now. We'll come back to the string in a second. But next, you're going to take your new outermost lift strand, which is going to be that little eye. The strand will be the little eye right on your bracelet. And with this one, you are going to do just a forward knot on this strand and the strand only. And now that we have that, you're going to come back to your third strand that you did these two forward knots with up here, and you are going to now do two backward knots on your two strands to get it back to the outer left corner. <laughs> so again, your backward knot is going to be a P shape. Pull that through the hole. And then do it a second time to complete your backward knot and then do it on your next strand and now it is back on the left and now we are going to go back to this fourth strand and you are going to do backward knots on all three of your strands to get it on the outer left side. So there's our first knot. Our second backward knot. And then the third. And now it is back onto the outer left side of your strings. But if you'll notice here, it's making a gap because we're only working on the left side right now. And as you can see on the bracelet here, there are tiny little gaps. And we need to close these up. So we need to take our outermost left strand again and bring it back to the middle. So after you finish doing your backward knots to get to the outside, you're going to do forward knots on all three of your strings to get it back into the middle. So there's one. And for now, we are done with the left side. So you want to have those organized as best as you can and get them out of the way so that way we can work on the right side now. And with this side, it's just as easy. You are going to completely mirror everything you did on the left side. 
So we have our strands in order here. And so now with our outermost right strand, we are going to do two backward knots on two of our strands right here. So again, we have our P shape, pull it through that hole. Do our first backward knot. And then here is our second one. So now it is right here. And then we want to take our new outermost right strand and do a backward knot on just one string. And then now that we have that, we want to take our strand that we did our four backward knots with earlier, which will be the third strand from the right or the second strand from the left, whichever one is easier for you to tell. And then we will do two forward knots on two of our strands to get it back to the right side of our strings. And now that we have that, we are going to take our leftmost strand in this group and we are going to do forward knots on all three of our strands to bring it to the right side. And like before, we need to eventually close this gap up up here. So we want to take this strand again and do backward knots on all three of our strands to bring it back to the middle. And now we want to close this gap up up here. So take your two most inner strands and do a forward knot so that way you close it up. And then you can start your pattern all over again. And yes, your colors now will be in new orders, but just know that your strings should always be mirroring each other. So you'll know that you're doing it right as long as you know that. And here it is up close with both of them. I think this pattern is absolutely adorable. <laughs> and I'm so glad that I went through all my old videos to find something to remake. Cause I totally forgot about this pattern and I love it. <laughs> it's really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I do apologize for updating another video. Hopefully that doesn't annoy you too much. I don't know what I'll be updating anymore if I do at all. There are just some really old videos out there that are not very good. So if you guys have any specific patterns that you want me to make a tutorial on or do really any kind of video friendship bracelet related, let me know in the comments below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Any people who have seen my old tutorials or any of you guys who are new, I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.